Don't Ooh. do it. <laughs> welcome to <laughs> Deliria. Welcome, 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 welcome to what's that? What is that? And she's the man. Welcome to Illyria. Yeah. I just came in here because I wanted to say welcome. <laughs> Episode six, going strong. Still Woo. the McRae sisters. Yes. You've been following us. We're gonna talk about the trade show today. And this lovely woman came up to us and was like, "You guys are the McRae sisters. I've been looking for your tent all day." And we're like, "Whoa!" And she what? was like, "I follow your guys' Instagram. Can I get a photo with you guys?" And we were like, "Sure!" And so we took a photo with her. And she's like, "Oh my gosh, my sister's gonna be so jealous. Like, I'm gonna send it to her." And we were like. Oh my god, we are famous. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> it was so, okay, highlight of the trade show, though. Yeah, you know, going into the trade show, it felt like a lot of things were going wrong. Um, we <laughs> feel like that was on your end, but that's because you've done so many trade shows and you are the leader of our pack, so, like, you felt a lot of responsibility. Yeah, but I just think even, like, health-wise, um, yeah, I... I will speak for myself. I will not speak on behalf of you. I was not doing so great yeah. health wise before we left. Um, I had a cyst burst in my uterus and I was uh, down for the count for about a week. So that on top of, and then just being stressed about being sick and not getting our things in um, made it even worse. And so it, we didn't get our tote bags in time. The screwdriver kits we ordered, our sample Jersey samples weren't ready in time. And so it just felt like Nothing was going to plan, but we, you know, a few days before the trade show, we were like, it is what it is. We're going to make the best of it. Like, no one at the trade show knows. No. But yeah, I don't know. So then I just feel like going into the trade show, it was like, no expectations. We would have been happy if we sold 10 shirts all weekend. Yeah, that was the goal. We literally <laughs> came into it and Paige is like, listen, no one knows who we are because I was kind of having my own anxiety that morning. And I'm like bro, we should have done this, this, and this. And Paige is like, okay, one, our day hasn't even started. And two, like, we aim low. Ten orders, that would be great. I'm like, you're right, ten orders. We were stretching out, stretching. We were stretching out in different ways. We were, <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> we were stressing out in different ways. But then we, like, had our first order, and Paige and I were like, bada bing, bada boom, and do shirts, do shirts. <laughs> like, we just were, like, killing it sales-wise, like, for ourselves, I just, I have not done this before. So to be a salesperson, I'm like, hello, like, would you like something? Um, but we did super well. And after the first few, like, orders people had, we were like, oh, okay, 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 we're good here. Like, we shouldn't be stressed. And no one knows what's happening behind the scenes. They're just seeing our apparel and, like, seeing us and, like, us bantering with each other. And people make comments on that, on, like, how they love the family vibe and us together. So it was really cool. So the stress subsided pretty quickly. Yeah. in the morning yeah no I mean literally nothing bad to say about this weekend I feel like I'm still on cloud nine and I feel like I don't even know where to begin I just you know for starters this to me is the least important I mean sales are really like having sales are really important obviously that's what keeps a company around and we def don't we definitely exceeded our 10 t-shirt goal <laughs> um we probably exceeded that in the first hour of yeah. the first day um, which is a, we are beyond great like humbling experience this weekend like we didn't know oh yeah yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying mean, like, it's just it was such an incredible weekend and we went in with no expectations and so for that and that's I'm not saying I don't appreciate the sales because I do I again like yeah we need to make money to keep growing and do what we want to do and change the world um aggressive but no oh, it's, it's true true yeah um but you know we we exceeded our sales goals, um, but I, more importantly to me were the relationships that we built and with the other vendors, mm -hmm. with the community, and seeing people's reactions to our apparel and to our brand and yeah. our jersey sample. Like, oh, it's back. Oh, oh great! I don't know. Um, that to me was worth more than gold. I oh yeah. This experience, I mean, like, our first trade show, I don't think we'll ever forget it. It was just, it, it's a landmark in our business, like, us doing this. I also think, um, I just can't get over, so there was this, uh, what? 
I know what story you're gonna tell. The little girl. Yeah. So this little girl, so you know, we have our big tent, it has a butterfly on it, and our backdrop is a butterfly, and then we have a flag with a butterfly, so there's just butterflies everywhere, um, which mm -hmm. we love. And this little, cute little blonde girl came running up and wanted one of our dad caps. And her, you know, parents came over and were like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Do you have any youth stuff? And the little girl was just eyes wide in awe of all things. Repeatedly, I love butterflies. Yeah. I love butterflies. And when her parents purchased the hat for her, she, I asked her if she wanted it in a bag. And she was like, yes, yes, please, yes, please. And we put it in a little bag with a butterfly on it. And she held that thing so, so tight. tight and she was hugging it and squeezing it. Yeah. Um, and I we watched as they walked away and she would hold it out and then hold it close I to her know. and hug it tight. And it just, that made me, I don't know. I don't even know. Like it just was. Well, it's like. You know, we sell apparel, we're going to sell motocross kits, we want to go further into the industry of, you know, women action sports and, but like, those are the things that we're selling, but that's not really what we're about. Like, that's not really what our brand is. Our brand isn't selling apparel, like our brand is that, like our brand is like making an impact on people. Making and a place in the action sports world for women and for youth. We just really want to be able to make an impact not only on the industry but on the business world on like how women and girls feel about themselves in their daily lives that they're capable and by doing the things that we do through sports and starting this business and how we are in everyday life when we strive to step into our highest selves like we hope that our brand can help influence that in the people that follow our journey yeah. certainly not perfect don't always feel like my highest self and we but we work on it all the time and we have each other and I think that's a huge part of it is finding a community and like finding the people around you that make you believe in yourself and you know allow you to step into that role that you want to and I you know obviously have Paige and like we have each other but then we're through this brand we're building our community of people that believe in us and like we believe in them and we want to see people succeed so Damn. cut and scene <laughs> which is really interesting because there's quite a few there's a couple people that ask like oh have you experienced any like sexism or people like treating you differently because you're a woman and honestly at the expo I feel like it was the opposite almost yeah. I mean people came up to us and were like hey are you guys the women's motocross so I think it's safe to say that we were the only women owned booth safe there to say, yeah or like at least one of we walked, there's a happy hour after the day on Saturday, and there were two other girls in there, I think, and one of them, it was like her boyfriend was there, and we were like, nice, <laughs> cool. Um, <laughs> but I, yeah, I think we, you know, we're probably, I don't want to say definitively, because there were a lot of booths, but we were definitely one of the only women-owned booths we were definitely there, and like women-focused booths there, uh, but yeah, for some, you know, someone came up to us and was like, hey, are you guys the women's motocross company? And we're like, yeah, that's us. And he's like, dude, I think it's, well, he was like, yeah, I talked to your dad in the elevator. Yeah. And we're like, honestly, dad's a great salesman. I'm not even going to deny it. <laughs> His tactics, it's not conventional. Hat but... special, buy two, get the second <laughs> for double the amount. <laughs> Like, definitely unorthodox in his sales tactics, but I we made extra sales because of that guy, so uh, cheers to that. But yeah, so for this random guy to be like, oh yeah, dog, your dad in the elevator, we're like, not oh, surprised. freaking course you did. But then he's, you know, he was just saying, he's like, I think it's so cool what you guys are doing. This is so badass. Keep rocking it. And honestly, that was the feedback from most. Like everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I would say everyone that we talked to, um, especially on the vendor side, like people who are so um ingrained in the industry and have been a part of this for so long they're like this is so freaking cool that you guys are yeah. doing this um rock on we're gonna support you all the way let us know how we can help um and that yeah i don't know they're it, probably tired of seeing a bunch of dudes out there they're like yeah bring the bring the ladies out um that is all <laughs> <laughs>